So what's up, brother? What's up? What's up, man? So it's been five years, six years, five years, or? Five years. Five and a half years, actually. Yeah? Yeah. How's it been? It's been good. Was Moving the first year the hardest? <laughs> yeah, the first year was tough, man, but it's a challenge with the restaurant business. But yeah, the first year was definitely the hardest because you have to build, build a brand, build clientele and that kind of thing. So, and yes, it's a, but yeah, the build up process is... Yeah, it's so what's process. going on now? What's, uh, I mean, I'm actually heading to period 57 because we have a pop-up with opening ceremony at, um, for Fashion Week. Yeah. A little boutique. I mean, a, a small pop up restaurant. Yeah. yeah. In a container. So now, I'm how did Someone should come and crew over there now. So, how did that go? I mean, how, how did you end up? Is, have you done a lot of fashion pop ups or fashion events or fashion yeah, crowd, loves you, celebrity crowd? I mean, talk to me. Um, first, fashion pop, like major fashion week type pop up. Um, I do a lot of like concerts and stuff like that, but it's the first thing like associating with a, a pretty big brand. And yeah. Like, Kind of like collaborating with us or we're collaborating with them and they think we're a nice brand which we are and they're a good brand too i love that brand so they have the space and they invited us there you know we're a couple other people how would you describe uh, opening ceremony what i mean what I is opening ceremony is like kind of like a like a barney's downtown like wait, barney's was like in the 70s when they got all the good designers and stuff like that yeah yeah opening ceremony is like a new modern version to that barney's is still pretty good but opening ceremony is like a new a new take on that. There are a lot of cool brands. A lot of dogs on the It's actually our car. Okay. So we have to get out of here. Okay. So where's it? Where's Pierce 57? She just come with me, man. Oh. You want to roll? Okay, I'll come. Fuck it. Right. Hey. Hey. What's up, buddy? Uh. How are you going? This is Lauren. We're in camera. Hey. Oh, we're going 15th Street and West Side Highway. The, the, in, in back? Um, light. Cool. Um, no, no, let's just stay. Painting and what's that? Yeah. Okay, brother Laurent, shoot the question. Yeah. So, how did you end up with, I mean, opening a ceremony? How does, just uh, talk to me, how did I end up? The, the pure well, companies are a company called that, Black um, Frame. Um, the, those guys come over, Michelle Wang, she's the main contact over there. And she's a good client of ours, she comes by all the time. And um, Bettina, who is from opening ceremony, she, she came over as well. Try the food and go like, oh, this is pretty cool. Um, come be a part, send an invite. Like, if you don't mind being a part of our events, um, we're looking for good brands, cool brands to while well, having our events to just yeah. provide the food and stuff like that. So you guys started I me mean, restaurant. I mean, are you becoming more of a brand? Um, or yeah, a, a brand. Hot, hot. We do T-shirts now, um, which is, they always sell off. We actually do soft condiments. So we have a a Jamaican spicy scotch bonnet sauce, which is really good. We sell it in a couple of stores. So you got your own like uh, all own line of spices and okay. products. So and um, we do a, like we did Afro punk without the, the music. Oh, you did Afro punk? Yeah. Okay. Doing something in London next year at a really good festival called Found. Found. Which is an amazing electronic music festival. So I'm doing a pop up there next year. Where is that going to be? That's in um, East London, Agustin Park. Okay. I mean. I mean if most so of the things coming from word of mouth is it because of customers um, or fashion or models or celebrities? The, the London thing is James Benison, who is actually my nephew. Okay. It's, it's <laughs> kind of cool. Um, the fashion thing comes just like, we have a couple of different people. Like, like Naomi always orders from us, but she, she's a pretty, you know, like, yeah. she's one of our regular customers actually. Naomi Camel. Yeah. She That's wicked. Always, like, get food from us and if she has a big event or something she says Sean bring this bring food over yeah she's flying to London on her private plane at the airport she sent a driver hey um, I'm leaving town send some curry goat escabeet snapper etc etc uh. so so that's what's that and then we always have a lot of people like Lloyd Samuels come through Stacey McKenzie Kate Hopton um, a lot a lot of people a lot of cool people how important is that man I mean, I mean it's been um, I mean, five years, is, is, has it been a hard five years, easy five years, enlightening five years? Oh, whoa, man. It's been a learning five years, man. It's like 10 master's degrees. It's just, it's just every day, it's just always challenges. You learn, you become more flexible. You can't be super rigid. Yeah. Stuff's going to change. You have to change with it. Stuff's going to break. You got to fix it. 
the restaurants overbooked. You got to find seats, <laughs> like those kind of problems. What, what, was there a year where you knew this was going to work? Or was it like, I mean, like, I know you believe in yourself, but there are times you like didn't know if this was going to be here for quite some time? or Yeah, I, well, man. Honestly, I, I, just curious. It was, so, it was so much, the first year was so like intense, like I lost a lot of weight. I was just going non-stop, like 24 hours a day. Sometimes I slept in the restaurant a lot. Slept in a restaurant? Yeah, because we do brunch. I didn't have enough staff. I couldn't afford enough staff because I was like, business wasn't so busy. Yeah. So I'll sleep, like when we close on Saturday, I'll just get a mat and sleep on the floor. I wake up early for brunch, just start cleaning up and go shopping and stuff like that. So I was so busy, like just making it, just trying to make it work. Like I didn't even come up for here to say like, okay, how far I've reached, is this even going to work? I was just being so positive, like it has to work. You know, I wasn't like even thinking, this is not going to work. I just really believed in it. I was like, just work, work, work. So I didn't even realize what was happening. Then we start getting some press every once in a while. And even sometimes read the press because I'm like really moving. And yeah. there's always stuff happening. Somebody calling sick, somebody, you know, like it's always the, 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 the sink breaks. Uh, <laughs> like the stove, the AC is down in the middle of summer. So there's always, the <laughs> always something that happens. Always something I mean, when you have rest, like the restaurant business, you know? You ever, like baby, you ever saying like, you live by, like yeah. you were saying, like uh, you always be chopping wood or? Oh, or? oh yeah, I was saying chop wood and oh, carry water. Like before enlightenment, oh, chop wood and carry water. And after enlightenment, chop wood and carry water. What does that mean? So I'm still chopping wood and carrying water. Is that so, so do I can... it's, it's a Buddhist saying. And, um, it says before you get to a certain level in life, you should be humble and chop wood and carry water. Once you get to your, your plateau, you should still chop wood and carry, carry water. Yeah. So basically, I'm still chopping yeah. wood and carrying water. I still go to the market. <laughs> I start to fix the pipe when it breaks. I still have to <laughs> cook when the guy is calling sick. Yeah. Or we're too busy that we yeah, need yeah. more hands in the kitchen. Yeah. I still have to mop the floor yeah, if the bus yeah. doesn't come on time. Yeah. yeah. So it's still, it's, for me, it's still chopping wood and carrying water. Yeah. Which is good. It gives you a certain sense of clarity and a certain sense of humility too. You know? Now, yeah, fall in New York is beautiful, yeah, isn't it? The weather is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. Um, this is my favorite season. Dude, how do you have a life, man? I mean, because you work. It seems like you're working seven days a week. Are you? You're probably barely home. <laughs> but yeah, I'm barely home. But I balance it out. You know, like I get up in the morning and I go for a run. I oh, okay. Exercise, like three days a week. Um, I have a good team now, so I could actually leave out and like go back and forth and stuff like that. So after five years, you end up finding some. Good so, dude, is this your first? Fashion pop up event? Yeah, first fashion pop up. Come on, girl, you can do it. Here we go. That might be really nice. All right. So, Sean, how did you end up at opening ceremony? I mean, how do you? The PR company, um, Black Frame, yeah. the girl from over there, Michelle Wong, good friend of mine, she comes by a lot, and she brought Bettina in, and they're trying to create the food for the event, um, and to create the music, and also the designers, so it was just a good collab of branding thing, which is really cool, so check us out. Cool, what's that? Thank you. 